Welcome, welcome, welcome to We Don't Care Live, the news outlet that just couldn't care about you. Today we return some of our most famous interviewees, beloved by many, weirdly, even fucking people things, beloved by many, weirdly, for their crippling alcohol addictions and desire to steal from the elderly. So good sir, tell me, what is like to, what, what's it like to be gluttony? <laughs> well, being gluttony sure does have its put. Um, for one, you, you get to be a disgrace to society. Uh, everyday life can consist of drunken walks, intimidating the public, and temporarily forgetting where I am. You know, the things that alcohol fans tend to do. Hey, I, I, I look a lot like that funny alcoholic. So, um, how much do you usually drink on the daily? Ooh, ah, uh, you can't. Oh, I don't know, that, that's like asking someone how many times they breathe in a day. If I had to guess, I'd probably say about three, four <coughs> bottles of vodka a day. I can't forget the immense amount of wine I drink too. Okay, one last question. How are you still alive? Ah, that's where the excessive eating comes in. See, when my blood sugars are low, I have a handful of healthy snacks I'll screen on to keep myself going. That's what I'm saying. This gluttony guy really knows his stuff. Okay. Well, on that note, we wrap up our, our interview with Gluttony and head to our next guest. So, rumour has it, you sin twice in one week. Yep, it still remains a highlight in my career as a disappointment. I see you still have plenty of Wii games to choose from. Oh yeah, well, there's there's only a, so far a man can go in life without Wii play in hand. You can also never be too safe. I've lost my fair share of killer stuff over time, so having spares is ideal. Hey, there's another me on the screen. What's the deal here? I only have one question here for you. Hit me. They used to call me Mr. Questionable in school. What's your question, champ? Why are you so greedy? I've just got burning hatred towards other people having things. In fact, I remember stealing this very disc from a retirement home a while back. You see, I feel a strong instinct to just rob everyone of all their worldly possessions. If I've mugged at least three people in a day, then I'll sleep well that night. That's cruel. Not if it's greedy doing it. If anything, they should be grateful I'm approaching them. Is there anything else you want to mention before we wrap up here? I still got your microphone. Can I have it back? Uh, absolutely not. Remember kids, it's not stealing if it's from a news reporter. Well, on that note, folks, that's all we have time for here. Be sure to follow We Don't Care Live on Twitter for all sorts of news headlines. Just don't expect any information on them. We don't care that much. Those guys looked and acted just like me. I better go t check that out. <laughs> well, this is the place. There's probably hints somewhere as to where those silly guys went. Ah, wine bottles. This will surely give me a hint. Yep, vodka in a wine bottle. Definitely gluttonies. I wonder why he left them all here. Hmm, maybe he went in there. Eek! Should have really strike for doing that. Wh wh where am I? Also, how the hell do you know what I've been up to? I'm you. I see everything you've done. Now, if you could please hush, I'll carry on explaining things. Hold up, let me, let me make some notes. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. After a while, Raf discovered the level of power that darkness can provide and let themselves get absorbed by it. Turning them into this control-hungry monster of a being, they then passed on their darkness to me. But with me specifically, they wanted more. I had a particular strength in my magic that darkness couldn't bring them. Even when consumed by darkness, I wasn't going to let them have that power, thus leading to a fight in which he defeated me. That is correct, yes. And Raph is currently tracking you down and destroying all traces of you so they can use your power, correct? Sweet! Do you have any do you have Gluttony's location on Google Maps or something? Ah, you see, I did think of that, but then I realized you need to only know. You need to know where they are first to put them in on maps. The only one who might know that is the reporter from the news. Ah, I see. Well, lucky for us, I already know that guy's address. I have any maps already. I just snap maps. <laughs> You're probably gonna wake up soon, so good luck, champ. Gluttony. I mean, kind of. Uh, friends, family, and the authorities call me 
glutton me, though. Can I help you at all? Uh, yeah, uh, see, me, gluttony, and greedy aren't actually people, and are just pieces of this other guy that we're... That being why we all look the same, I'm gonna find them before this other guy does, because if the other guy finds them first, then we'll all die. Y you get what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> I'll pretend that all made sense, but either way, I don't care. Sorry, pal. <coughs> Bless you. Sorry, I have allergies <laughs> to chess. That's fine, it's probably the dog. <laughs> oh, come on, please. Help, it'll buy me time to pay off my credit card debt. Nope, sorry. You've got a wild chess game going on in here. With your dog? Yeah, my my boyfriend isn't a fan of playing chess with me. He tends to get rather physical. Hey, Greedy, what you got there? Oh, you won't believe what I just found. Canned meat? Canned meat! What's so special about this canned meat? Get this, right? Limited edition ripped straight out of 1994. I nearly got the full set. Oh, sorry. Uh, pardon me to interrupt your canned meat review, but... We're here to find gluttony and warn you about me and you potentially ceasing to exist. Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't know, seems kind of like a Thursday activity. It is Thursday. How about this? That counts from 94, correct? It is. Yeah. <laughs> well, how about we make a deal? You help us find gluttony and laugh, and I'll find you the finest thing of five million edition. Where do we go from here? We're gonna hijack that car! Oh, hey, it's me! It's oh. you, Lauren, this is your character. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, you didn't think I was gonna mug you again? I mean, I brought you didn't. What's up? Ah, uh, well, you see that guy out there is uh, out for our blood. Uh, we, we really need a getaway car, so if you wouldn't mind, we're gonna take yours. And may or may not give it back. That cool? I mean, either way, you're going to mug me, so sure, I guess. Sweet! I'll put any traffic violations on my insurance, so don't you worry. Uh, hey, what's this guy's problem? Oh yeah, after the last car trip we had, he's not really much of a talker. You know, surprisingly, out of all the times I've mugged you, I've never gotten your name. Name's Amy If. Amy If? I'm wondering Amy when. <laughs> Give me a time and a place and I'll be there. Yeah, I'm not into guys who mug me. Sorry. Damn. <laughs> I swear, if another gluttony finds my house, I'm gonna throw hands. <laughs> What's up? Uh, <laughs> look, look, man. I'm, I'm sorry for not letting you guys know about what happened before the car incident. I didn't think to tell you guys that Raph had tried to possess me. No worries, my guy. It was a mistake on uh, our end to just boot you out like that, especially when yours and the other guy's lives are at stake. Thanks, man. Really appreciate that. So, you still gonna go after Raph and find gluttony? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go check out where you first interviewed Gluttony, see if there's any clues there. Count me in! For real? I bought my license in case we need ID. You might want to eat something before we go. Here. Blueberry? Always keep them for emergencies. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Where's Gluttony? <laughs> Why don't you ask him? I'm gonna do my best, Kate. Okay, right, guys. I've got to say, the selection of wines here is just simply disappointing. Yeah, yeah, same goes for the Wii game selection. I mean, what place doesn't have Carnival Funfair games? Soon I will have all the gluttonies in the palm of my hand, and I'll be able to fully harvest Grim Neeper's power and rule the world with everyone under my control. I'm afraid it isn't all good news. Now that myself, Gluttony, and Greedy are all free from Wrath's darkness, it means we're all going to become one person again. Oh, can, can, can we do something to keep them out here? I can't be doing with one me in my head. Never mind three. I'm afraid not. We're all doing. We're all going to fade away and just become part of one person, as we were before all of this. Here you are, lad. I want you to have this. You, your famous gluttony vodka wine. That's right. Hey, I ain't gonna have a use for it unless you can drink in the heavens above. I'm sure you can. I mean, I don't think the Lord has imposed any alcohol bans up there, so I think you think I think you're good to go. I also want you to have this. I want your blood sugars low. Gee, thanks, man. It does look like a very tasty snack. <laughs>